Uh, you said you want to see significant improvement this morning with the second scrimmage. I'm sure you got to go back and look at the film, but just from watching it live, you feel like you kind of saw that? Yeah, uh, I do. Uh, and really, uh, I felt it all week. Um, you know, coming out of Wednesday's practice, which was a uh, had some live work in Wednesday's practice. Uh, you know, coming out of that practice, I felt like that we had really made strides Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday off of the scrimmage last weekend. And, you know, uh, you know our, our first group went uh, about 25 plays today, and I thought outside of uh, you know one play uh, from the first offense, I thought our first offense executed at a very high level. Um, I think our defense is flying around, uh, so I think that uh, we saw what we needed to from last week to this week. Looking at Keith Mitchell, what is it that has made him such an effective runner for you guys, and how excited are you to see what he does in his third year here? Well, I think you know everybody recognizes his speed on game day, uh, and it's pretty elite. Uh, but you know the things that people don't see is you know he has just such a great feel for the zone run game. Um, he's done a great job with his body uh, over the off season, uh, you know, putting on some muscle uh, and you know, allowing him to be a lot more sturdy this year than maybe he was last year. Um, he's a very driven uh, player, also. So uh, you know, I'm just excited to see you know what's next for him. Uh, I think Rajay has uh, made the same strides. So I think we had a, a fantastic. You know, set of starters there last year with those two. And I anticipate them to be, um, you know, that same thing for us this year. Uh, only I think that they're both improved. Coach, camp is always a grind, but you said it's been more enjoyable. Has it been less of a grind this year just because everybody seems to know what they're doing? Well, the kids would say no. <laughs> I can promise you. Uh, and, and that's part of, you know, I felt that this week also. About Thursday and, and yesterday, you could tell that, uh, you know, it, it's been a grind, um, and but the enjoyable piece comes from, you know, it, it wasn't like you had to just just demand them constantly on about their effort, or you know, you didn't have to just stay on them about you know physicality. Uh, you know, if you put the ball down in a, comp, uh, a competition setting, they're going to go hard, and they're going to strike each other. You know, they're going to play good football, and uh, that's that's enjoyable. Uh, because now you can you can coach the fundamentals, you can coach schemes, you can you know coach you know cohesiveness and get everybody on the same page, and you know you're kind of past the deal of you know having to push so hard to get effort uh, out of them. Because now you have you know a lot of older players that that's that's what they know, that's what they believe in, that's what they do, and so the younger kids, you know, it's either you know you you step up along with them or you stick out in a negative fashion. So uh, that's the enjoyable piece. Obviously, a lot of uh, transfers coming in um, camp, a great time to kind of catch them up to speed about how ECU football plays. Uh, what have you seen from them, and I guess how important are they to this upcoming season? Well, I think the kids that we brought in uh, have acclimated well. Um, you know, Isaiah uh, and Jalen, in particular on the, uh, in the receiving core, have really meshed well with our returning players. Um, I thought Justin Red uh, looked really good today on the offensive front. Um, you know, you look at defensively, I thought Chandre had a uh, good end of the week this week, uh, did some good things today. So, you know, all those guys are older, they're experienced, uh, pre-Washington. Uh, you know, they're all guys that have played a lot, uh, Chance Bates. Um, and I think they fit in really, really well with our returning players, uh, and they're going to see significant playing time on game day. Coach, can you talk a little bit about the uh, punt game? Well, I think Luke's had a solid preseason camp, uh, so you know, he's going to be our starting punter going into uh, the season. Uh, we feel like we have solid guys uh, depth-wise on the unit um, across the board. Uh, you know, it's a little bit of a battle still for the backup punt job between David Chapeau um, and uh, I forgot his name all, all of a sudden. My little, my, little, my, little, my little guy from High Point, um, Conrad, Andrew Conrad. That's that's all. But, uh, you know, those two are battling it out for the backup punter's job. Uh, so, you know, haven't really solidified that yet. But, uh, you know, please with Luke. Coach, I wanted to ask about conditioning. I know Big John's done a great job in the uh, weight room. Uh, from the time you started to now, can you talk about the, I mean, the growth in the weight room? 
well, that's, players. That's you know that's probably been the you know most significant growth in the program. I mean, you guys, a lot of you guys covered the program you know before, uh, and you know when we got here, we you know we didn't look like an American Athletic Conference team, uh, but you know you saw the kids on the field today. I mean, we look like we belong in the American Athletic Conference. You know, we are, our fronts on both sides of the football were big, we're athletic, we're strong. Um, you know, you look at the, the stand-up guys, uh, both sides of the ball, uh, I mean, we look the part. Uh, so, you know, Coach Williams, uh, I think he's the best there is. Uh, he's, uh, the kids think he's the best there is. Uh, and he's done a great job with his staff in developing our, our, our roster. Your first game here was against NC State. Are you hoping to look at this game, you know, this season opener as kind of a measurement of how far the program has come in that time? Well, we were non-competitive in that game. Uh, it was embarrassing, honestly. Um, the program is, I mean, there's no comparison at all. Uh, now, that being said, uh, their program has made drastic improvement also. You know, I think they won three or four games that year. You know, coming in, this is the highest ranked NC State team preseason in school history. So you have arguably one of the best teams uh, NC State has ever fielded coming to Dowdy Ficklin September 3rd. Uh, so what you have, you know, here in the opener is, you know, two much improved, much improved programs, uh, two much improved teams. Uh, it's going to be a good ball game. Uh, you know, we're going to find out a lot about ourselves. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's night and day over what that game in 2019 was. Um, with, with guys returning, just knowing the ins and out of the playbook for so many years, how have the, you know, newer players done their studying and kind of grasped the playbook that you guys are trying to do? Well, that's, you know, that's, if you're talking about newer players as far as those older transfers that have come in, um, <clears throat> that's the big thing. You know, that's, that was the big focus this summer. That was the big focus during preseason camp. Like I said, though, all those guys are fourth and fifth year college football players. So it's not like, you know, they had not played in, you know, similar schemes, you know, where they were. Uh, so I, th I think they've, they've acclimated well. Um, you know, the ones that are struggling to acclimate, you know, as always, are the freshmen. Um, I do think we have a couple of freshmen that may see you know, a significant time this year, uh, and that's the biggest thing that's going to hold them up. Um, you know, just grasping the playbook, acclimating to the speed on game day, acclimating to the physicality, uh, because it's a lot different, you know, on the high school football field compared to what's, what's going to be out there September 3rd. Coach, going back to that NC State matchup, how do you motivate your kids knowing that you have a, such a tall test going up against one of the highest ranked teams in the country, especially when you're trying to build this program's confidence, you're trying to get them knowing that they are going to be one of the top teams in the American Conference once teams like UCF right. uh, leave the conference. Well, I think motivation is not going to be an issue for that, that opener. Um, you know, it's the opening game. Uh, you don't need motivation for the opening game. Um, it's an hour and 15 minutes between campuses. Uh, there's a lot of history between us and NC State. The guys that were on that field in 2019, and there's some that were on the field in 2018, uh, they don't need any extra motivation. Uh, it'll be a very motivated roster that takes the field that day. Um, I think playing in the American Conference does give our kids confidence. Uh, you know, we went toe to toe with the top teams in the conference last year. Um, you know, probably should have had a couple of wins there that uh, we didn't get at the end of a couple of ball games. But our guys, uh, they're confident uh, playing anybody. To be honest with you. What was the uh, back and forth like between offense and defense during camp? And coming out of it, it, is there one side that's ahead of the other as you wrap up these scrimmages? Well, like I said, when you, put, uh, when you put the ball down in a competitive setting, they go at each other. Uh, it was highly competitive. Um, we had a few scuffles, which you're going to have that during camp, uh, especially early on. Uh, and you had to run them a little bit and just tell them, listen, you can either fight or you can run. You, you decide. Uh, but I, I like that intensity. You know, I like that competitive spirit that they have in them. Um, you know, I thought early on uh, and, you know, last week's scrimmage, I thought the defense was a little bit ahead of the offense, but I think the offense had a very good week this week. You know, we saw uh, the potential uh, that we had thought we had uh, throughout the week this week and again this morning from our offensive players. Coach, was there any uh, position group this preseason camp that you were surprised by or any players that surprised you and kind of uh, just stood out performance-wise? 
Well, I mean, I think I'm pleased across the board. Um, I wouldn't say surprised, but I'm happy with uh, how well our receivers have meshed uh, with our quarterbacks and with the rest of our offenses as, as we went through camp. Because that was, you know, you thought what you had on paper, but still getting on the same page and seeing them do it together, uh, that was a, you know, something that we hadn't seen yet, but I'm, I'm pleased standing here today. We have time for one more question. Um, I think seven games last year, seven points or fewer decided. I guess I'm just kind of curious if you learned anything about those experiences that you can kind of translate into coming into this year. Well, I think everybody did. I think uh, there's no substitute for experience. Uh, I think that's you know kind of probably what held us back a little bit early in the season is learning how to win those close games. Uh, you know, late in the season, winning those close games, you know, made, it was all the difference in, in our season. You know, winning on the road at Memphis, uh, you know, winning uh, on the road at Navy. Uh, you know, those those kind of games are the ones that are difference between, you know, a disappointing season and a, and a bowl bid. So uh, I think our whole roster learned a lot uh, last season, you know, from those victories. Thanks a lot. Go Pirates. Thanks,